This here is a Linux uh, uh, tech tip uh, regarding uh, playing synthesized sounds. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, real quick here because I forgot to do this before I started recording. I'm going to open up Patchage and make sure my audio output's going my input. That way uh, you can hear the notes that I play. Uh, do take an account. I don't know exactly how loud they're going to be for you, so I hope these aren't too loud or too soft when I play them. Um, but basically, on most Linux systems, desktop systems, that is, you probably are going to have Play installed. Uh, if we man that out, you'll see that it's part of the SOX um, uh, Swiss Army knife of audio uh, manipulation. And uh, it's it's probably installed on most systems by default. If not, it's definitely in your repositories for desktop systems anyway. Um, and uh, it does a lot of things. You can play audio files. Uh, I can do recording. Um, and in this case, I'm going to show you that you can play synthesized sounds with it. And I'm going to show you just very basic uh, examples here. It can do a lot more, but I'm just going to type the play command. Then uh, dash qn, and we'll get into that in a second. We'll say synth uh, to pluck is the type of synthesizer. It's going to sound like a pluck guitar. And then we're going to give it a note. I'm going to say a C note. So you get a nice little synthesized guitar plucking sound there. Of course, you can do other notes, G or E. And uh, if we go back into the man file for play, uh, we can do a quick search for the dash Q. Um, and here it says, show no progress bar. Uh, by default, uh, play uh, will show you a little... Um, I believe that's for the audio bar. Basically, it's it's not going to give any any output on the screen. It will just play the sound. So depending on what you're doing, you may or may not want that in there. Also, we will search for our dash n command, which is probably up a little bit higher. Dash n. Uh, no. Uh, and you can use this in place of an input or output file name. Since we're not giving it any files, uh, we're saying null, and then we're using a synthesizer. Um, so that's those commands. But another great thing about uh, this uh, play man file is something that's good with all, man f all good man files. If it's a good man file, you're going to have examples in it. So let me quickly uh, search through here. Here we go. They give it an example here of another type of synth here. And if you read, it says, this will play a synthesized A minor seventh chord with a pipe organ sound. So let's quit, and we'll paste that in there. We'll hit Enter, and... So I hope you heard that. It was a little low. So uh, we're giving it, you know, uh, here where it fades in and fades out. Uh, we didn't do the quiet. Let's put our quiet command in there. So we don't get the the output here. Um, so that's another example of command. And then I'm going to write a quick little one-liner here to kind of play uh, three notes in a row. I'm going to say four I in, and then inside braces I'm going to say C comma G comma uh, C comma E comma G comma, and I'm going to say do play dash Q N synth to pluck dollar sign I. So this is the same command we ran earlier. And uh, the change here is, instead of giving it the letter directly, I'm going to use a variable. So it will each time it loops, it will go through these. It will go C, E, and G. And uh, what I want to do is I kind of want them spread out, but overlapping. So I'm going to do is I'm going to say the ampersand there to say, continue running the next command. Put this in the background, run the next command, which then I will say sleep. 0.25 seconds and then I'll say done to close my loop loop so what we're doing here is we're looping three times one time for each of these letters each time we're going to play those notes as a synthesized pluck sound um, but we're not going to wait till each one finishes before doing the next one what we're going to do is we're going to wait uh, just a quarter of a second uh, and this is what we get And of course, you can go uh, 
the other way as well. We can go this way and say G C and go down instead of up. We can also, uh, you know, put a bunch of different notes in here. We can go uh, G G C E C. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up right now. And you can write out a little song like that. Uh, not the most efficient way to write a song, uh, but you could do it. And uh, there are a lot more options, a lot of other synthesizers in there. This is to show you the very basic little option there. Um, and that is playing a synthesized sound with built-in, well, not built-in, but with play, which is uh, usually installed on most uh, Linux systems uh, by default, and if not, should be in your repositories. Um, so I thank you for watching. I hope you found this as a fun little tutorial. I don't know how useful it will be. It could be if you wanted to um, have your script play some notes uh, when a process uh, finishes or when something becomes true. Maybe you have a script checking for emails. You can have it play little notes. Um, so I, I do thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And I hope you visit my website, which is filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.